Hello YouTube, Brownells Tech Tips here. In this video I'm going to show you the software that I use for basically um, doing my videos and stuff and editing the videos after I screen record them. Um, here pretty soon me and my daughter are actually going to work on doing intro videos and stuff and actual beginning and end sequences for all the videos. So before too much longer, we're going to start having a little bit more diversity and beginning caps that kind of go over a little bit about what it is and things like that. But anyhow, um, I use Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13. Uh, it was actually Sony Vegas Studio at one point in time. Um, now it's just... Uh, now it's just the uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum. Um, I bought it while it was on sale. I got it for about $175. Uh, really, it wasn't super bad, and it works very, very well. Very comparable and uh, comparable to uh, Adobe Premiere, only not quite as top-heavy. And it will work with your GPU if you have a decent GPU. Uh, unfortunately, the 750 Titan card that I have uh, does not do work very well about using the GPU for video rendering. So, thankfully, having an 8-core processor and 32 gig of RAM seriously helps out with that process. So, my videos don't take an insane amount of time to render. Um, some of them that are longer than an hour can take a while, but it's not like it takes 4 or 5 days. It just takes about 4 or 5 hours. Um... If I had the capability with like a uh, one of the Radeon RX 480s or a uh, if I had a NVIDIA GTX 980 Titan or a 1080 then yeah I would have a whole lot less trouble about using the GPU to do help with the video rendering but that's neither here nor there that's that's something that will come with a later project that I have for my PC. So, without further ado, whenever we're working on a video, we're going to click New, because we're making a new video. And I generally leave mine set on the region for America or Japan, which is the 60 Hz NTSC. I have it set on AVCHD at 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 at 24p. And you'll click here in the name line and name your project, which I always name it by the actual video title. And as you can tell, this is actually for my other channel where I will have the first episode of The Walking Dead, uh, episode one for season two. So once you're done with that, go to Project, hit Properties, and then we're going to come to Summary, and then we're going to put in the title. You'll put in your information here and then we'll put in the copyright information of course once you have all your settings and everything set up and you've put in the summary just click OK and after that now we need to add the media so here's the Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 1 gameplay click open after selecting the file and you'll see down here that it says it's building peaks for the Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 1 gameplay.mp4 this means that uh, it's going to actually go through the audio wave file and it's going to build the wave peaks for the audio and you'll see and understand why here in just a minute once it re fully renders the the file then we can actually drag it and add it to the timeline until then uh, we're not really going to want to do too much with it now I'm not going to go over the transitions and FX and video video effects and things like that or anything else in this particular video mostly just basic editing for this one the effects and stuff I'll get into on a later video but now that it's done and you know it's done because it's no longer got the progress bar down here we'll grab and drag it to this second timeline this is the one for video the one above its text the one below its audio and the one below that is music now it's going to say do you want to let your project video settings match this media yes 
that is going to give you the least amount of trouble and it's all recorded in 720p so it is going to set it up for 720p when I render the video it will render in 1080p so it will upscale it and no I do not lose a whole lot of quality from it now you can see all the audio lines here and the audio bits so when you play hello YouTube this is morbid feast and you have full audio okay so if you hit left and right on the keyboard it'll actually scroll through and depending on whether or not you're zoomed in or out depends on how fast it scrolls through so if I zoom way in by rolling the center mouse wheel up if I hold the key you'll see that it's almost normal speed so if I zoom it way back out then it's really fast and this is a good way to skip forward to parts where you know you need to make an edit especially on this game where I made a few mistakes so we're gonna go edit those mistakes out yes you're going to get to see me actually play with the editing magic and remove my mistakes <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting kind of close to the first one. Which deals with that damn dog. Blah, 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 blah. Back and forth, back and forth. Stupid dog. Dog needs to die. Oh, yes, the dog gets what's coming to it, but not before stupid decisions are made And you can see right there she gets killed. And she becomes the mill for the dog. So I need to zoom in further now. Okay, so we're going to actually go to the beginning of this part. and we're going to cut it right here by clicking split and you can see in the audio sequence where it's exactly the same multiple times and you can see about where we split it so as soon as we get there right there's the scene we're going to split cut that part out and now I go to project save and that particular part is cut and edited now we're gonna roll back to the beginning 
catch a hello actually need to this is morbid feast and we're here in lieu of the walking dead coming on tv here within the next couple days uh we're going to play through season two of the telltales the walking dead now i haven't played this okay now if you need to edit the beginning of this which you can see i just I don't start talking for a little bit until it gets to right there. Hello. If you actually had to, you could hit trim, trim start right there, and it would cut everything off the very beginning of it from that particular point forward. I don't need to do that on this video, so we're going to go ahead and go back to where I made the edit, which is right here. Zoom back in on the audio now not seeing a particular point where I'm duplicating so we'll pan forward some more Let go and then it'll catch up. I can't remember if I had any oopses in the uh, garage after or in the shed after I got back, so I'll have to keep an eye on that in the video. All right, and here we are. God, that would suck. Dog fucked her arm up. <laughs> Can't say anything. I've had to do field work on my dad like that before, and I've also had to sew up my own leg before, so it's just one of those things. And then shit hits the fan. Well, it's not looking like I messed up too bad in that part. I didn't. Honestly, I really think the rest of the video. I really think the rest of the video should be good. That's inside talking. Yep, so now that we're at the end. Nick or Pete. I went after Pete. You and 59.6% of players went with Pete. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed. That's it for the first episode of Season 2 of The Walking Dead. This is Morbid Feast, signing out. Alright, now as you can see I said that, that was my end phrase. And there's still stuff caught off on the end, so all I gotta do is hit trim end with the line right there where I want it to cut. And magically it's gone. So now I'm going to roll it all the way back so all of the video is on the timeline. I'm going to move the uh, timeline indicator over. We're going to hit project, save. And at this particular point we're going to go to make movie. Save it to my hard drive. Select MP4. It'll tell me what the resolution is here. We're going to go ahead and let it do it at... 720p resolution which is what it was recorded at 
Um, I could do the upscale to 1080, but I'm not going to worry about it because it's still HD. And honestly, if I went to 1080p, you can see it's 5.17 gig. It would probably be around 8 to 10. So I'm definitely going to leave it like it is. And I'm just going to click Next. And now it's going to render the full sequence and render the entire video. Whenever it's done, just click Finish. And it will actually save the file to the folder. Uh, uh, go to your documents and then it'll be under my uh, movie studio platinum 13 projects and that's where your video will be saved and from there you can go upload it or whatever you need to do for YouTube or uh, whatever video service you use so this is Brownells Tech Tips hope you guys enjoyed watch like and share have yourselves a great day